Hello, and as we continue our look ahead to the Con and Annie Kirby Memorial, we're after catching up with another one of our lucky owners. And this man, well, you'll be more than familiar with him, Shane Dowling, the son of Liam Dowling. Uh, you're, you're a busy man of these times. Uh, you've Ballymac Merle in the final, but Shane, unlike some of the chats we've had over the last year or two, probably not an awful lot of pressure ahead of Saturday night. He is one of the outsiders. He's not the finished article yet, but he's a bright prospect for the future. Yeah, I suppose, Ian, like you said, there's no no pressure really. He kind of just went in under the radar and just uh, kind of, he's only qualifying away and just doing nothing crazy or special. And um, as be, in all honesty, he's going to be up against the Saturday night. He's very far out and um, he has an awful lot of ground to make up on the clock. But um, sure, look, we can only get him ready as best as we can and, and get him there in one piece and finals are finals. And um, you just don't know these big nights. He is definitely one for the future, though. Like you're far from the finished article, as I said. Yeah, that's what it looks. Look, uh, to be honest with you, we've always thought an awful lot of the dog. Um, every night he runs, fellas say to me, "Run okay." Yeah, he's running fine, but he's better than he's running. That's that's the answer. He is better than he's running, um, but it's just not coming. Like you said, probably not the finished article. But um, there's a big run in there somewhere. I don't know. Is it next week? Is it? Three weeks is it a month or six months? But he he's uh, he has plenty of gears and uh, just to put it all together and, and show us. Yeah, we'll get back to the final in a moment. We have to while we have you, we might as well take this opportunity to reference Bally Mac Wild the other night winning one of the great races of recent times. It was an absolute thriller. He's been some star for you. Yeah, look, it was what what a final it was. It was it was one that people will talk about for a long time. We just happened to come out on the right side of it. Um, he deserved that more than anyone else. That dog he'd been in, he'd been in eh, all the major finals, as, as you well know. And things didn't go right for. No, he had his big win at, win at the start of the year, and things didn't go right along the way. And maybe got a little bit too much racing towards the end of the year, and batteries might have been a little bit flat, and might have just needed that break. And he seems to be coming back to himself, and it was just brilliant for the dog himself to get that big win last week. Yeah, indeed. Um, potentially, of course, a, a toaster challenger along with a few others. Um, how about the likes of Ballymac Belvolt and Ballymac Murren? What's the, the plan with them? Would it be produce takes and then on again? Yeah, look, there's no there's no um there's no plan set in stone yet. The uh, Project Stakes was mentioned all right, and the English Derby was mentioned. Um I'm not sure which way yet. There's a, see there's a couple of lads involved in Belvolt and they'll just have a chat and see what they want to do. And we'll see over the next couple of weeks. We'll be making our mind up in the next week or ten days which routes we'll go, but we'll have some of the Project Stakes. And look, we have a couple of old age dogs already and they might be just better off going to Toaster and leaving the pups get a bit of experience here. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Now, if you look to every major role of honour in Irish Greyhound Racing, you'll generally find a Ballymac there somewhere along the lines. Um, you've had a Derby winner, you've had, um, obviously, you have a Shelburne 600 winner, you now have, you know, um, you have an Oaks winner, of course, in your name, Bally, the Ballymac bitch last year. Um, you bred her yourselves. Um, you don't have a Kirby winner. You've you've had a you've had I think it's I, I went through them earlier on. I think it's three finalists. I'd be wrong. I think yeah, it's, no, it's, it's come on, go sorry. No, I think no, it's I, Sid and Taz in twenty nineteen. And was Green Prince yours when you had him in twenty fourteen? Green Prince, Cool of Any Pet, Barcelino. Ah yeah. Cool, I missed the Cool of Any Pet. Barcelino, yeah. that just didn't yeah. dawn on me, of course. Yeah. So you've had the five finalists, but mixed no, luck. Boy. Mixed luck. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, look, what can I say? The Colin Any Corby to me anyway, is the heartbeat of Irish Greyhound racing. It, it, what it does, not just the prize money of the competition itself, Ian, it's, which is phenomenal. I mean, the knock-on effect it has throughout the whole industry, from fellas breeding pups, buying pups, you know, buying unraced dogs, what it does, it creates a huge, huge market for a dog throughout the, throughout the country. And like huge credit must go to the McManuses. This competition is just, it's just unbelievable. Look, they're great people. Look, not just for greyhounds. What they do, they 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 bring in all the GA clubs into this competition, the horse racing charities, everything. But they they must just take huge credit, and people must thank them and appreciate them for what they do f for us. And um, look, it it it's huge, and we're delighted to be a part of it. And it's great to get a runner in it. It's not, as you know, when you have that when you have that prize money, it's not easy to win it as. As it as it has been through the last few years, but it's great to get a runner there. No, we're without, we're probably an outsider, but um, at the end of the day, you never know, and we're delighted to be involved in it. 
Yeah, absolutely. Like as you say, you are an outsider, but you never know. He's he's only had the the seven career starts now. As he's just seven career starts, looking at his eighth career start, and he's all of a sudden has an opportunity to win eighty thousand euro. It just says so much about the competition. As you say, it has had a big knock on effect with the breeding. Um, breeding, you know, people in the times gone by, uh, you try and breed a Derby winner. Obviously, that's everybody's dream, but. Nowadays, all of a sudden, it's a case of, you know, God, this one's going to be born in January, February. You know, this could be a Kirby dog next year or whatever. This this the way people are thinking now. Absolutely. It's 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 absolutely huge. People have that in the in the back of their head. Like, you know, all the time, I suppose, when you're breeding a litter or even when you're buying a pair of pups or like if you see a nice unraced dog and Jesus, he's very young all the time. But then if you see a January, you'd say, oh, look, you have a con any Kirby. If you get to the final of it, it's like winning a competition. You get five grand. It's just huge. It, um I don't know. We are very, very lucky to have it. It's, it's, it's just, it's a phenomenal competition, and um, it's brilliant. It's just brilliant to be involved. Of course, your 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 breeders, your four mostly over the years. Of course, in recent times, more more on the racing side. But you know that phone of yours would be ringing constantly for people looking for dogs. Do you have you found that you know I'm looking for a Kirby dog? You know, it's one of the few competitions where people will actually ring up and say, "I'm looking." You hear, "I'm looking for an Irish Derby dog," or "I'm looking for an English Derby dog," or "I'm looking for a good sprinter." It's what you generally hear, or a good stare. But now you're also hearing, "I'm looking for a, for a Kirby dog for next year." Is that what the way you see it? Is that how the phone calls are happening these days? People take it into county, and I suppose, like again, people are always looking for, like you said, a Derby dog. But like now, you can run for eighty thousand before you take in the Derby. Fellas will pay extra money again. Do you know they they'll pay. They, they they're not afraid to put put their money, their hand in their pocket and, and go and say, "Look, Jesus, spend the big money." But when you when you have a competition like the Corby, uh, before you take in the Derby, so it's just huge. It's just huge. Um, the knock on effect, like I said, I know I'm repeating myself, but it's just absolutely massive what it does. Yeah, of course. On Saturday night, you face five very, very different rivals. Um, you know, some some with blistering early speed, and there's a few of them there. Um, some with big finishes, likes of the machine. But it's a cracking final, and it's just a joy to be in it. I'm sure. That's it, Ian. Look, uh, there's some of them dogs are going to be. They're going to go on this year. The rest of the year, you're going to hear their name all year round, winning derbies and ledgers and lars. You know yourself and being involved in English derbies, but like I suppose Explosive Boy has been the the standout performer as well as Sing Along Sally. But like he's he's doing he's doing huge huge clocks every week and. Look, they're all going to be hard to beat in their own right. But as you know, the first 10 to 15 yards, dogs coming in, dogs going out, dogs charging the box, dogs is missing the break. It, it, all of that is going to happen. And there's just going to be a dog that gets that little bit of look in the night and and, and capitalizes on it. So there's so many things you have to, to hope for. Now, in my thing, I probably need a bit of look for all the five dogs to do something. <laughs> so, um, but look, you never know. You never yeah, know. As you say, no pressure. Um, there is a Ballymac best dog, obviously, out in Trap 6. Um, Stone Park Leo, he's a nice dog. You wouldn't mind having your hands on him. Absolutely not. No, he came into the competition. I think he'd only two races beforehand. And you know yourself, Michael Donovan wouldn't put him in there if he didn't. Or Mark Donovan, they wouldn't. They, they they wouldn't put him in there if they didn't think that an awful lot of the dog. And we saw what he could do last week. He outstanding early pace. And look, Ali Macbeth is doing very well at stud. And this is another good pup. And um, I actually think he's a fantastic draw where he is. Um, if he can repeat his his early pace and get around, I think he's a huge say. So, look, you never know. You never know. Uh, you have St. Sennans, of course. Uh, we'll be shouting for you. The, the local GA club. You touched on it earlier on. €10,000 for a GA club. And this time, it'll be a fair uh, be a fair jolt. It'll be a fair boost for them. Unbelievable. It's it's just... it's it's What they could, what they could do with that money is just phenomenal. And uh, look, all the clubs in Limerick get really behind it. Now, would you blame them? Because what the McManuses are, are offering to people, just, just by getting involved and, and coupling the two together, it's 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 huge. And um, all the clubs, uh, it's brilliant for them. And uh, I wish we can do the business for St. Sinners. I'm not sure if we can, but we'll do our level best anyway for them. We have to ask you one or two more questions. We'll, we'll move away from the Kirby for a minute or two because we know your thoughts on it. Um, Toaster is coming up, an English Derby challenge. You went so close with Ballymac Taz a couple of years ago. You're going to you're gonna launch a challenge again this year. Liam was talking to me on Monday morning. Um, not finalised team, but it looks like you'll have a, a fairly decent one going across. 
Yeah, that's the plan. Um, like you said, nothing finalised, but more than likely going and uh, hope to have five or six runners going and a, a nice strong team. Um, there's a, a couple. Belly MacArt is just coming back from. Uh, she she broke a toe, so she's just coming back, just starting galloping. It's going to be a bit of a rush for her, but I think that she's one that could take the toast. There's probably stretch her. It probably stretch her a little bit at the end, but. Um, Look, she's there, and all we can do, all we can do, is just try get her ready. You have, I suppose, cash out and aerial. Hopefully, if 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 they uh, if they get there in one piece, and if they like to, if if aerial likes the place and cash out, you know, you you just have to go and see. It's it's I suppose it's a little bit different from the last the last time we had toaster in. It's a little bit tighter. It's um, it's a specialized track. It's going to be hard, I think, for some of the Irish dogs that go over if they don't get enough of trials there. You know, it, it looks like a place you're going to have to be around a few times. So you will be praying you can qualify early on. Um, I suppose we've great named that, uh, Ballymac Wild. Possibly Ballymac Kingdom. We haven't really decided about him yet. And maybe the young dogs as well. We'll just have to wait and see. So, again, it's hard to know how they'll run a place you, you would always... You'd always say, "Dog, oh, he'll run this track or he'll run that track," and oh, until they do what you don't know. Yeah, and will you will you be the man doing the travelling, or have, have you sort no, of all those things? No, I I wouldn't be trusted at all with that. And I'd say the boss, <laughs> the boss, the boss will still be going, so we'll be we'll be left at home here and mind the house. And is he if he does go across, is he planned to stay around Nottingham again? Uh, I think that's the plan. Again, I, I think he spoke to Peter and uh, I think that's that's where they're talking about staying. Again, I'm not certain that he didn't finalise that yet, but I'd be pretty sure that's what, what's going to happen. Yeah, well, listen, that's exciting. We're looking forward to it. But more importantly, best of luck on Saturday night. Have a great one. Um, you know, as you say, there's no real pressure on you this time, so uh, you can enjoy it. That's it. That's it. Only just turn up and enjoy it is right. So thanks very much, Ian. Thank you. Thanks, thanks Shane. Well done. Cheers. Man. Bye.